and the Nigerian Senate has strongly condemned the growing practice of governors dissolving elected local government administrations in their states. The upper chamber noted on Friday that despite the provisions of the constitution guarding against the interference of governors in the running of local government councils, they exist at the mercy of state government. These resolutions were taken in plenary following debates on a motion presented on the floor by Senator representing Benway South Abba Moro. In his lead debate, Senator Moro expressed concern over the dissolution of democratically elected councils in Benway State. To hurt the erosion of democracy, the dissolution of elected councils in Benway State. The Senate notes with dismay the dissolution of democratically elected councils in Benway State. Senate also notes that in placing caretaker committees to replace elected councils is an aberration, an alien to the 1999 constitution as amended for the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Contributing to the debate, Senators Adams Oshomale, Aline Dume, Abdul Fatai Buhari, and Victor Rume lamented that 16 states run their local government areas with sole administrators or Ketika committees. Governors are executive, but those elected people also have executive chairmen. They also have executive powers within the provisions of the Nigeria Constitution. So I, I think it is time that this Senate lend its voice and forcefully persuade the Minister of Finance that wherever there is no elected council chairman. But the critical thing is that the National Assembly and the Senate must put a stop to this flagrant breach of the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. We are lawmakers. And if we make laws that are not obeyed, it means that we don't have democracy again. This is the time the Senate will come out very hard on this matter because I know that over the years, some of these matters have gone up to the Supreme Court of Nigeria. And the Supreme Court has emphatically pronounced that caretaker committees are illegal. In his ruling, President of the Senate, Gotswil Akpabio, will frown at the establishment of multiple federal agencies, advocated the creation of the National Electoral Commission for local government so that governors would no longer have overbearing influence on council polls. What we now do is, if we agree that the Ministry of Finance should not release the money to them, I think that's the only option that we have here <coughs> as a National Assembly, since we have constitutional oversight responsibility over the... Uh, so, in the prayers, maybe we should emphasize that anybody that has caretaker put in place his money should be kept aside until democratically elected local government takes over. 17 to 18 states now are running local government. And then there is this idea that I must win all local government elections, even if I'm KKK party. The moment you do it, Mr. President, how do you justify a senator? a rep member coming from an opposition, but different from the party. And the governor will not do election, the senator will not win his local government. Approach, which I think we can actually adopt. And that approach will be an amendment, or even, uh, I don't like creating more agencies and commissions, but if we have something like National Electoral Commission for Local Governments, and then, the local government elections council or chairmanship are organized nationally. Even if you don't, even if you don't use INEC, you just have a body, just like you have what they call, like in states, they have state electoral commission. If you have a national local government electoral com commission that organizes local government elections nationally, you will see that all sorts of all sorts of local governments will tumble. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.